I hate rig lines because you always seem to be undoing them like this all of the time because they're always tangled. Hey, there is such a better way to do things than what you're doing. What? Yeah, I could show everyone out there how to do it. All right, show me then, all big right shot. Then. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wrap a rig line correctly. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, my name is Daniel Mann and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to wrap your rig line so it doesn't get tangled all the time. Most people when they wrap a coil of rope will grab it in the hand and just go around and round and round like this, but the loops will eventually cut into each other and you'll get some sort of knotting occurring. So the way to mitigate this is to crisscross it over in a figure of eight fashion. So I start with the end of my rig line about 30 centimeters past my elbow, open palm like this, Hold the rig line here, cross, under my elbow, over my thumb, under my elbow, over my thumb. You can see that the rig line is crossing over here. And you just repeat this until the whole rig line is done. You'll get used to this technique. You'll become much faster as you do this more often. And if it gets a bit too much bunched up on the end of your elbow, you can just slide it up your tricep a little bit there. Unless you've got huge triceps like Vin Diesel, you might have a bit of trouble doing that, but I don't have that problem. That's the rope wrapped up around the elbow. This is the end that's connected to your gun. I leave about a meter and a half here. All you do, grab the hank of rope like this, keep a finger through the top loop, and then with that end that you're connecting to your gun with the shark clip, wrap it back over itself here, but towards the neck of the hank of rope. So around there, around, around, keeping it nice and tight, keeping fingers in here so the loops don't get mixed up. I like to do this about half a dozen times or so. Once you've got it nice like that, all you do, grab a little section of your rope, poke it through, form a loop back over the top of all the other loops, and then pull it tight like that. You can do this as many times as your length of rope allows. Two or three is probably good. And then you have your hank of rope, your rig line all solid like this. This end attaches to your gun, this end attaches to your float. Now when you pull on this a bit, you might see your loop come tight down onto those knots that we've tied before, but that's okay. So say if you're swimming out for a shore dive, on your float, on your gun. You're swimming out, you want to let this rig line out. All you do, simply pop this loop, Back over the top, it'll pull through. As you're swimming out, you can do this just behind the breakers normally. Pull it out, it'll uncoil like that, and then the loops of rope will just peel off beautifully without any tangles at all. No knots. The other method you can use to keep your rig line all sorted between drifts in a boat, particularly if you're getting picked up at the end of the drift, you wrap your rig line up around your gun. It's much easier to throw into the boat and get ready for the next drift. So shark clip on the end and all you do, same technique. This doesn't have a band on it, but the same principles apply. You wrap it and roll it around under the handle, back over the top like so. So you're crisscrossing crossing over each time. So you can see the crisscross here. When you want to secure this off at the end, simple half hitch over the spear, half hitch over the spear. You can pass that into the boat like that. You've got your float on the end and when you get to the next drift, all you have to do, undo, half hitch, half hitch, and then swim forward and just Pop it off the end of your muzzle. As you swim forward into your drift, the line will peel off the gun without any tangles at all. So there you have two methods on keeping your rig line in check and avoiding getting those dreaded tangles that slow you down, stop you looking for fish because you're untangling your rig line. If you got something out of this video or you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you on the next one. I believe I tangled my rig line this badly just for the purposes of a video and now I actually have to untangle the stupid thing.